Hi guys, uh, my running kidder. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you had a very uh, nice holiday. Um, if you do celebrate Thanksgiving and things like that, um, hope you didn't eat too much. And people probably gotta have to burn off all that food, whatever they ate. Uh, I could let you know, right? I had a great serving of this badass. Oh my God, it was so good. Apple. Oh my god, uh, cobbler, it was so good, so I had like three bowls of that, so I know, it. so I gotta burn that off, but um, like I told guys on my Twitter when I said have a happy Thanksgiving, but I also said I wouldn't be going to my local comic store, basically Midtown Comics, there you go, until Friday, so here I am to give what I picked up uh, for the, the last week of November. So we're going to run this really quick. Um, got a lot of stuff, guys. So enjoy. All right, we're going to start with indie books, and then we're going to go from indie down to Marvel. So first off, we have uh, Captain Midnight, number 17. I love that freaking cover. It's beautiful. Uh, beautiful cover. Um... I believe this is the start of a new story arc. And like I said, Joshua Williamson has just been killing it on this book. Uh, just been loving Captain Midnight. Uh, next up, uh, Conan the Avenger. Uh, this is part two of the Damned Horde uh, story arc. Fred Van Lint still doing a good job. Uh, Brian Chin does the artwork. Uh, that is a badass cover too of Conan. Very. Next up, we have... Uh, Tomb Raider, number 10, uh, Gail Simone and Rihanna uh, Pratchett, Pratch, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, uh, do the writing. Um, this has just been a really fun series as well. Uh, Mr. Greg Roca, Michael Lark, Lazarus, uh, this is issue number 13. Boy, this shit has just been so good. Been loving this series. Another great series here. Finally, uh, finally, the next issue of uh, Mr. Ray Anthony Heights, Midnight Tiger number two. I had this title. The first title, I bought it off of another website called Indie Planet, which I buy a lot of indie comics where artists are just coming up, up and coming authors and things like that. That's where I really bought this from, the first issue. But then I found out that it got like a uh, a production a, a production uh, company was doing it, you know, basically Action Lab Entertainment now. So, but still, look forward to that. Next up, Xenoscope's uh, Robin Hood. Of course, you know I've been loving it, and like I've always said about Xenoscope, it's fucking badass covers. Those covers be beautiful. Next up, we go to. TMNT, Teenage Dream Ninja Turtles number 40, uh, got the Kevin Eastman cover, good stuff here, double the dose of TMNT, but this time they're with the Ghostbusters, this is issue 2 of the crossover event, uh, I like the first issue, I think I'm going to enjoy the second issue too, move on to DC, we have none other than Aquaman number 36, now we'll bring Arthur and Jean together. You can see right there. Good stuff. Issue number two of Deathstroke. Uh, like I said, I enjoyed the first issue. The first issue had me in intrigued. Let's see where this one goes. Um, an eye for an eye. Um, next up, we have Fastest Man Alive, The Flash. This is number 36. Trapped in the Savage Speed Force. Good stuff. Next up we have is E-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Number 19, this is the prelude to the Eternity War, which is coming. I'm looking forward to that too. Last uh, DC book is Red Lanterns, number 36. This is Godhead, Act 2, Part 4. Um, looks cool. Charles, I just don't like that cover too much. Look at Look at Guy's face. 
It looks cool. Alright. There you go, guys. Marvel books. Alright, so we got a uh, all new Ghost Rider. I think it's one more issue left, and this series comes to an end. Uh, I hope we still see Robbie Reyes around. I mean, I just don't. I hope he doesn't just go away. Uh, next up, we have all new Invaders number twelve. Classic characters on here. Look at you got you got uh, Union Jack, um, and Orson Randall uh, Iron Fist, the Iron Fist that came before Daniel. Danny Rand, so that's cool. James Robinson has been killing it on this title. Uh, Amazing X Men number thirteen. This is uh, James Tillion the Fourth's uh, writing this title. Captain America and the Mighty Avengers number two. Uh, this is still a tie into Axis, so we're still getting the inverted. Uh, Falc, uh, Captain America, or Sam, and Luke, and things like that. Oh boy. Next up we have is Deathlock number two. I enjoyed that first issue. Um, Mr. Edmondson, like I said, enjoy the first issue. You had me interested. Keep You got me locked. Keep it up. Next up is uh, New Avengers number... 27 Hickman. I, I know I'm probably going to have to read this title three or two times to really get a gist of what's going on. This this whole time running out story arc is really confusing because I'm trying to figure out when when is this story taking place, what time period, things like that. It's really confusing to me. That's why I got to read it like three or four times and still I'm like, Mr. Hickman, I like you, but you, you always confuse me sometimes. Uh, next up, we have um, the Logan Legacy Part Five. Um, this is the story. Arc. This is seeing what how uh, Wolverine's son Dokken thinks about his father's death. Uh, look, guys, I'm not a big Dokken fan. Everybody should know that. I I, I got I just not a big fan of his. But um, as I said, you know, I don't want to have this miniseries incomplete. So, and so far this series, this miniseries has been really good. Still, so far the best has been the X twenty three. Final issue, of New Warriors number twelve. I really wish this series wasn't coming to an end. This has just been a really good series so far. This is the second or third New Warrior series, and I have them all that has come to an end after twelve issues. What's up with that? Scarlet Spider is number one. This is another miniseries tie into uh, Spider Verse. All the clones are together. Ben Riley, Kane, and Jessica, Ultimate Jessica Drew, uh, Black Widow. That's what she's called together. Um, good stuff. Spider Man 2099. This is uh, issue number six of uh, Peter David. Tie into Spider Verse. Superior Iron Man number two, we got a taste of this little battle in the last axis between Matt and the inverted Tony. Um, and uh, Tom Taylor. We trust. Yeah. And last but not least, the final issue of Wolverine and the X-Men. This is a tie into Axis as well. Um, yeah, this is truly the last issue because afterwards this becomes Spider-Man and the X-Men, and I'm looking forward to that. I know a lot of people have asked them, why is Spider-Man in the title? Because this is a, that was a request by Wolverine. He wanted Spider-Man to be involved with the kids, um, being that Wolverine, Spidey has teaching, you know, experience, so, uh, we'll see where that goes. But uh, this is a tie-in to um, Axis, where the X-Men have just gone really crazy, and, you know, because of what's going on, and they're really taking that Darwinism really to the, to the extreme, thanks to Apocalypse. But, yeah. And I hate seeing Storm with that sinister look. You get a good look at it. Jesus Christ. 
Could you imagine waking up to that and she's staring over you like, hey, go, man. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is it. Um, as always, guys, like I said, um, I will, the Marvel codes, I will, you guys just ask for which one you want. And I will get those out to you as soon as I can. I promise. As always, I don't, I don't, I deliver. I deliver to you guys. Uh, but other than that, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep real guys as always. I'll catch you guys in a flip flop. And that is my haul for uh, this week. Take care.